Well, it's quarter of nine, and I'm heading out to the farmer's market. Before I do, of course, I can't resist looking at our community garden. Hey, that's a bee. Good news. And there's Kellett and Lamb. So, Richard and, and Brooke. And they've been here for several weeks. But this is the first year and apparently having a good um, good response. We've got a All our meat is hormone free, antibiotic oh, free, that's pretty important. grown, grain fed and lean. That's wonderful. Well, the car burn passports are ready. This is uh, one of my compositions. It's titled. Give me your wicked time. Just doing this with an old sure shot uh, cannon. Uh, no mix. As my friends say, it's ghetto style. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me your oh, wicked time. Not here today. And what's your name? That's Buchi Onakufi. Yes. 
we have made. Maybe yeah, Swiss shirt and Swiss shirt. Cheers. Four dollars. And by the end of the month, we have having lots of African vegetables. And I think somebody carved it. Oh. Very good village well. in Ontario. Very good village in Ontario of Trafalgar North. Okay. How large a plot is it? Um, right now, I'm actually farming about two acres. Oh. But I can go like bigger than that. It's a virgin land, it's not been farmed before, so it's been a lot of um, weed, trouble, and pests. Really? Yeah? Since it's not doing organic, so it's um, kind of tough. And what is this? Huh? This garlic scape. Oh, okay, these escapes. Yeah, it's oh, okay. So, um, if you don't like um, strong garlic um, yeah. smell, these are very nice. Mm -hmm. They have good flavor and very nice aroma. You just you just saw it. How do you how do you cook it? Um, you chop it up, you stir fry, use it in stir fry. Oh, okay. You so, meat lover, the tomato, good meat, fish, steamed spinach, um, make rice. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very and very good. There are staple here. And I'm always drawn to the flowers. Having fun. Where's your blue t shirt? <laughs> you know? And uh, I'm really looking forward to it. There's all the local chefs. There's well, April is telling me she'll be at this festival. When is it, April? It's next weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Cuisinart. And where is it? Alton, Alton Mill. Mill. Mm. Where is Alton Mill? Alton is a part of Caledon. Oh, yes. yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's about know, half an hour north. Yeah, I know there's Alton, but never Alton Mill. Yes. Yeah, so I think it's the old mill, and now it's a bunch of artists. They have studios there, mm -hmm. and so the artists have gotten together with the local chefs to make mm -hmm. this festival, where the art will be on display, and the chefs will be doing um, black box competitions, as well as um, lots of sampling, and local produce, and lots of exciting things happening. So, uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to being a part of their So their you, wouldn't, you wouldn't be here on Saturday next week? My mom will be here. We're on YouTube now, eh? Yeah, we heard last week. Good okay. seeing you both again. I'm I'm Sarah and I'm Mara. Sarah and Mara. And I really enjoyed listening to you last night. I'll see you on the way back. Okay. Good. I'm doing well. What's new? Not much. Oh, your spinner is here already. When did she start her demo? Okay. What's her name? Deborah. And these are the rakes that are used for the. Um I came particularly to see you. Just for us. 
Yeah, because uh, Jeanette and Billy were telling me of the marvelous things that you do. Oh, yeah. Your name is Deborah, is that right? Yes, Good. Okay. Yeah, okay. When are you going to start your demo? Uh, songs and then the oh, you do? You're, you're a songwriter, yeah, too. Yeah. What's your last name, Deb? Everett. Everett. You know, I have you in the last movie. Yeah. Well, I have your name because Jeanette is your big booster. Uh -huh. She's telling me about you. Why don't you take me through what you're doing? Okay, this is hand spinning, and what I'm doing is I'm going to fill a bobbin with a single. And then I would take a second bobbin and fill it with a single. And then you take them and you bring the two singles in onto a What's a single? Bobbin. This is a single because it's just a single string. Oh, okay. Then I would have those already made ones. I'd bring them in here and I'd go backwards. Oh, okay. And that would be bringing them all together so the end result would be it would be turned into yarn. And that's what oh. flying is. One fly, two fly, and then the three fly, and that's what fly means. Ah. You put the three of them together. So you're putting a lot of tension in at this point mm -hmm. because you're going to take quite a bit of the tension out when you combine them together. But I think it's a woman who invented the, the spinning wheel, right? Uh, the, I don't know. I should find out. I think so. A lot of men so I know, but, but, men, all but I think it was, uh, I'm pretty certain I'm right, uh, but weavers, I look at that. Weavers yeah. were always the men in the family. Yeah. The woman invented it. So much tension. So you're taking, what, the cashmere? In a roving, mm -hmm. you could uh, you can sit and spin it, and you can knit yourself a sweater while you're out there washing your sheep. Well, yeah. You've got a simple machine. Where are you located, Deborah? Where's your business located? Uh, Cashmere Farm is yourself. Uh, your your own business. Um, in Halliburton. I have a fiber arts business in Halliburton. And the name of the fiber arts business is Highland Croft. Yeah, good. Fiber arts. I have you on a previous movie uh, because um, Jenna told me about it. So I'll send you that uh, okay. link to that. Kaden. Kaden, and the young man is? Carson. Hmm? Carson. Carson. Then you turn it back and forth and back and forth and you pull this off. And that's called carbon. Cashmere fiber and that's really uh -huh. so soft. Oh it wow. Man oh man. Oh isn't that yeah. nice. Oh, so they go boy. in a cloud. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's sure. just follow me home. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> so then you would have this and you would spin right from there. Okay. So from one goat, how much uh, yarn would you get? You get between two and five ounces. How many uh, meters would that be of finished yarn? That I don't know. Um, they're 50 gram skeins. One. Two and five ounces off of each goat. No kidding. That will need that. It's eighteen dollars an ounce, mm -hmm. and so that will be once a year. They start growing their fiber in June, and they finish in January. So maximum five ounces. Yeah. Yeah, that's where At eighteen five bucks. Ounces would be good. So. Mostly three, mm -hmm. four ounces per goat. This is the under down on. So with ninety bucks. Oh, here, mm -hmm. come in, so that it would just be the hair that would be left. So you're combing the under down out to get this. Mm -hmm. um, this is the under down. Yes, this is the under down, and here is the guard hair. Oh. That's what you want to take out. That's in here. Eh, is the guard oh. hair on the outside. So you're wanting this under down and you comb it with these combs. Mm -hmm. 
comb that out, and they're left with the guard hair again. So what's right. the commercial price for for cashmere that's that's carded? Because I know it's pretty expensive uh, to buy anything yeah, cashmere. I think they're 50. She hasn't gotten them back from the mill yet. Mm -hmm. They were supposed to be here. They'll be here at the end of July, and then she'll have all the yarns and everything that's been sent. Mm -hmm. Sent uh, many, many pounds mm -hmm. to the states, and they were. Sounds like a small that. fortune. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Pretty much. By the time you send it away to be cleaned and carded and spun and plied and made into something, and then you bring it back and you sell it at your booth. So that's where the, the hand spinners come in. You know, you can take everything well, and do it yourself. now you know why cashmere is something I can't afford. <laughs> <laughs> so Deborah is showing me some of the cashmere that was... Here's the fiber, right? Combed. Cashmere hand fiber, combed. that's right. Hand combed off hand of a goat. Hand combed off of the goat. And then hand carded into a cloud. And you see you still have some hair, so you'd want to... And hand off. carding means you've... What, you've... Hand carding, yeah. Oh, that yeah. Using... Yeah. Well, what do you know? And then you just lay these are cotton carders, so they're very small teeth because it's a very delicate fiber. Well, no, I know. And now now, now know. the public knows. Start to finish. <laughs> oh, Deborah, thanks. You're welcome. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. That's such a wonderful scene. It is. Yeah, yes. kids love it. Yeah. As I was saying, I think it's a woman who invented uh -huh. the spinning wheel, at least for cotton, yes. it was, so it must be the same. I'll check it out. Just a little rod of metal oh, with a little, okay. little so round whirl on it, because cotton is a very short staple length, mm -hmm. so you need something that spins very fast, you've got your little hand spinning thing. Yeah, are you familiar with that? I've seen it when I went to Black Creek Pine yeah. Village. Oh, okay. Yeah. So Deborah is showing me. Okay, so with the um, we're doing cotton, you would use um, uh, you would use something like this. Aha! So your shorter staple, and it would be a very tiny, very tiny. And it's called a support spindle because it sits in a bowl. This is called a drop spindle because it's in the air. So you kind of have to know what you're doing to make sure you don't Man, can you imagine the thought that went into this? I know, I love Hundreds and hundreds of years ago. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but Margaret, if you want to know why, your daughter will explain to you. <laughs> well, I have you there. Join us. Beautiful brand.
antibiotics. Oh, that's pretty Hopefully important. Grown, grain fed, and wheat. Well, the carbon passports are ready. But very good if you want them. Join us. Beautiful brand.